four weeks, four to three weeks. Actually, nah, I can't even cap. It's been like the last three months. Let me move my mic back. But nah, the last three months, man. I'd have been losing contact with so many people. I done lost trust in so many people. Man. I know that's a part of life, but these are my closest people. And I'm just not understanding like what's going on. But to be specific, hold on, this car kind of raw. What is this? Oh, okay. Girl, don't be posting nothing online. Oh, no, that's my shit. Yeah, I already know y'all can't hear the radio, but I can. Damn. All right, but nah, look. I'm gonna start with you niggas. Nowadays, bruh, you niggas are embarrassing. I just don't understand, like, ugh. If you know me, I'm a nice person. I don't like talking shit about anybody or anybody in a negative way. I just don't see the point in it. But, damn, if, if I'm dealing with you and all I get from you is negativity and, hey man, that's your fault, bro. Like, I gotta talk about it somehow or some type of way to somebody. And you on my stream now, so look, you niggas, stop coming to me asking about these women that you are supposedly talking to. And what I mean by that is, I'm getting a lot of niggas lately, close friends too, asking me if I'm talking to women that they trying to talk to, like. Look, I get it. You trying to figure out whether or not I'm talking to a, a shorty. You know, you trying to be Excuse respectful. But no when they get to the point of you already know someone I was already talking to before and you trying to talk to them and that's your reason for asking me why I'm talking to them. Like, come on, man. For one, that's just childish. Like, why are you trying to talk to someone I've already been talking to? It's a weird activity. You know what I'm saying? If that's not weird to you, then I just don't know what planet you're from or how you live or all that. I just don't understand. But, you know, that's basically the gist of that for niggas. It's that niggas just keep hitting me up, asking me about women that obviously ain't theirs. Like, and then have a problem with me when I'm trying to tell them and be nice like, look, bruh, if you ask me about shorty, she ain't yours, man. You don't want to know what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't, I just can't fathom how a nigga doesn't think before asking me these type of questions. Like, you're going to be hurt, bruh. Like. I just don't understand. I'm trying to not say like so much, but it's just ridiculous how I've been going through this for, I ain't gonna cap for years since high school. Just know better who and who not to talk to. But here I am, you know, talking about it on this little stream to y'all. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense out of it, you know. I probably can't, but because niggas are doing it so much, and it's just like, it's got to be a regular thing, right? Or, you know, I know it's not a regular thing, but that's what be driving me crazy. That's what be having me so confused. It happens so much. I just don't get it. Y'all probably like, where is this nigga going? I was about to go to my little shit. I had to get my car out the impound. Now I gotta lose the feds. So I'm just taking off. Oh shit. But anyway, like I said. You didn't see me? Oh, I was about to say. That nigga blind as hell. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying not to skip ahead to these hoes. 
And nah, I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about these hoes. I'm not trying to skip to the hoes. But anyway. I'm still on top of these niggas. Like I said, bro, I just know your worth too, man. Like, talking to a shorty that you have doubts about, just in general, talking to other people, or like I said, just doubts in general, bro. Do yourself a favor and don't talk to her, bro. You putting yourself through the dirt, man. And I probably sound hypocritical doing that or saying that just because of the people I talk to. Or, you know. Um, connect myself with but it's a game of learning and experimenting it really is cause I wish someone would have told me a long time ago hey niggas and bitches will do you all the way types of dirty bruh like no matter how close you are no matter where y'all came from it don't matter your friendship don't mean nothing sometimes to other people and that's ridiculous because if you know me I hold everything accountable for me and you and when I say me and you I literally mean me and you if you know me then you know me and you got some type of connection to where I'm cool with you and I'm not throwing your name through the dirt or you know talking about you on the stream because like I said I could be using names verbatim on this right now but I just don't feel like it but at the same time I might have to because then I feel like I'm sneak dissing but let me just tell the rest of the the business for these niggas man that don't know how to live right stop arguing with niggas about other women and stop arguing with women about other niggas simple just stop bro live your life get your paper up eat good you know what I'm saying take care of your health man and you good let the real love find you it's gonna come you know and I want y'all to know like I said I ain't trying to be hypocritical so as I'm saying this to you I'm saying this to myself but anyway if I come back again to the niggas, it's probably because I just forgot something. But I'm gonna go and talk about these hoes right now. You hold on, I want y'all to listen to this radio. Y'all can't hear it, but look what's playing. If that ain't something I should be paying attention to right there, I don't know what it is, but anyway. Man, hold on. Come on, y'all. I know y'all peeped that. Look at this. Come on. When did you... Come on now. Anyway. You hoes. Boom. Literally. That's all I have to say right now. Boom. That's all I have to say for real. Just look at that for these hoes. You know, it's just like... I'm gonna drive like this, too. Until the sun go off. I, because... That's kind of what's going on. It's like, when did this happen? And I'm just tired of all the cap. You feel me? Um, I haven't been told really no truth. You know, from a woman intimately in a minute. And I don't, actually, I don't think ever. <laughs> Forever. I don't think I've had a intimate you know talk to a woman intimately and they was completely honest with me you know I ain't gonna cap you know and would I be able to say I've been a hundred percent with a woman I talk to yeah I ain't gonna cap I just can't stand not being a hundred percent like it just irks my soul to not I don't know to leave doubt in somebody's mind or have them question me how I, how I roll how I feel about them but anyway let me be more specific cause I'm just ranting now so everyone knows my last shorty or if you don't know my last shorty then oh well I'm about to tell you but my last shorty man she a piece of work I ain't gonna cap bruh I ain't gonna cap 
Like she a real good person and all that, you know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to help her do what she gotta do, you know what I'm saying? We got similar career paths and that's dope to me. But Shorty is a piece of work. And I mean a ten hour shift, possibly twelve full time plus overtime. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I be feeling dealing with Shorty. Why I still got the cops on me, bro? Hold on, bro. There's a high somewhere. Uh, bro, but uh, I'm just over here thinking about all this time I didn't put listening to the cap. And God damn it. I ain't even gonna blame Shorty 100% for the damage she did to me because I let a lot of it happen and I tried to retaliate by being nice or you know professional not trying to be a nigga and throw her name through the dirt like I could have done a long time ago you know a long time ago you know what I'm saying but I just don't like doing that I don't feel like I ever gain anything from that personally so, like I said, I ain't here to throw nobody name through the dirt, but y'all finna know. Y'all finna know what's good with these people because, like I said, Shorty is a decent person. She's a decent person, not gonna cap, but she could be a lot better. Uh, shoot, she probably gonna see this. I ain't gonna cap. So what she do? She just need to know, like, she just need to be better. Actually, she fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? She knows she ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to think about it, retake what I said because I'm always being nice to her about some shit, but nah, she ain't shit for that. <sighs> and, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanna, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm looking at my phone and trying to talk and drive. But yeah, shorty sure ain't shit. Are they gonna let me hide in here or what? Like, damn. Alright, I'm just tired of these police. I'm trying to hide. But yeah. I just want to be done with all the capping. Basically, childish games. Like, I just don't understand how people could be so quick to change up on you. And they don't understand how wrong they are. Or they just not willing to listen to what you gotta say, only what they gotta say. Or it's like anything I ever say to Shorty just don't make sense. Or I know niggas heard this one before. I be mansplaining. Look, for all the females that think man, bleh, excuse me, mansplaining is a real thing, it's not. It's just niggas speaking facts and y'all don't wanna hear it. Being dead ass. Niggas too are uh, are ones that don't like mansplaining because they don't they're not used to other niggas trying to tell them shit. If that makes sense, so yeah, that goes for everybody, niggas and and hoes. Don't ever try to tell another nigga he's mansplaining because you just not trying to listen to him. For real, for real. Oh yeah, but before y'all just be like, damn, he just talking shit about his exes, he ain't speaking no facts. No, let me speak some facts for real though. Nah, but my last shorty though, she doing her shit right now in a little aviation business. You know, I'm proud of her, I ain't even gonna cap. I ain't even gonna cap, she doing her thing, traveling around the country. But she only been gone for a week. And mind y'all, before anything happened, before we left, I want y'all to know that yeah, we have been working on ourselves to do us. Now, what does that mean? We have been working on ourselves to do better, to eventually, possibly, get back in a relationship. Hey, possibly. Now I know that means a possibility not gonna be there. It may not happen. So, like I said. I ain't gonna blame Shorty 100% for doing what she about to do. But I will say she lied to the fact that she told me she wanted me 
before she left. She told me she didn't want me to go nowhere before she left. And you like, dang, she said that verbatim? Like, nah, she didn't even say that verbatim. She said verbatim. That. Excuse me. Sorry. Not for real. She said verbatim that. That us. She worried about us. That she don't want us to be over with. She want us to try again. Now, I ain't gonna cap and say I wanted us to try again too. The only reason I would have tried again with her is because she wanted to try again. She was willing to work on herself to, you know, get back in a relationship with me. And, you know, I'm doing the same thing. I'm willing to get back in a relationship with her, but I gotta work on myself. And who knows how much time that's gonna take? Who knows? So, the problem is here, like I said, Shorty lied. You know, she told me another thing verbatim. She don't even know when she gonna be able to talk to anybody on an intimate level again. You know what I'm saying? And I already know, you know, besides the fact, uh, she's already been talking to me on an intimate level, not even gonna cap this whole time. She has been. And if she says she hasn't, then she's capping. That's another cap. But she knows we've been intimate. And what I mean intimate, we've been like talking real back. Close, close. And I don't know. I mean, I do know. But it's just crazy that um, she could say that to me. And then uh, being gone for a week. You know, she gets distracted by, I don't know, whoever's there talking to her. But she gets distracted within a week and probably within a few days because she's just now saying something. And I'll be peeping. Attitude changes. I ain't gonna cap. It's been a good two days since her attitude been, like, kind of iffy. But I ain't finna say nothing. I call her out on it. Because I already know how she is. And like I said... I know how she is when she gets distracted and clearly she was distracted. She told me that she got distracted and her excuse was that she had been gone for seven days or over seven days. And mind y'all, like I said, I ain't trying to be hypocritical because I've been in this situation before. And y'all probably like, you probably should just stop talking to Shorty anyway. Yeah, I done told myself that a thousand times. But Shorty hit me with the I've been gone for a week with that. Now, mind y'all, if you know this shorty and you know what happened between me and her, you know she done been in the same situation but got distracted within a day. A day. One day. And it was on some hot, sneaky shit, too. During some COVID type shit last year, summer 2020. And, you know, I'll never forgive her for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to hold her accountable for that. But specifically, she played me into thinking again that she wanted us to work on ourselves for the better, for each, for each other, so we can get back together. But the whole time she was doing that, she was inviting some nigga to see her from another city two hours away to come drill her shit. And who knows, could have been raw dog or not, I don't know, but either way, you know, if I have that type of energy, my name would be thrown through the the ground, through the cement, through the magma. That's how far my name would be through the ground. And, you know, I ain't even throw her name through the dirt right there. I just let her do I let her do it. I just didn't talk to her after that. And I let her know, like, I can't fuck with her because she knows she wrong. She dirty as fuck for that, too. Because another... Ooh, yeah, because another situation that I'm not even finna expose her for. But yeah, she know damn well the way she was acting was wrong and dirty. Like, you just don't be acting like that. It's not clean to me. Actually, no, to anybody, it's not clean in general. Um, but yeah, before I get off further topic. That was just basically it though, like, just capping, you know what I'm 
I'm saying? Like, and I just don't, un wow, I just don't understand why. Like, this goes for everybody. You have to lie to me, man. Like, just tell me straight to my face. I know I have a resting bitch face, but that don't mean I'ma just, like, swing on you or nothing. Like, I'm listening to you. Like, that's just how I look. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna touch, put my hands on anybody unless my life is in danger, you feel me? Like, I just don't rock like that. I know I talk a lot of hard-ish sometimes, but the real is, all you gotta do is talk to me and be truthful. Once you're not truthful, though, and I catch you in a lie, you ain't shit to me. So, like I said, I'm still being nice as hell, if y'all can tell. I ain't use no names or nothing. But these people I'm talking about, they ain't shit to me, man. Like, I can't even hold no respect for them. Just because of the lies. Little boo-boo, simple lies I've been told. I just don't understand. But anyway. I'm trying to think of some more facts for y'all. So y'all don't think I'm just ranting. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need y'all to, uh, what's the name? Help me out. Remind me. Oh, yeah. I wasn't more specific about the nigga I was talking about earlier. This was an ex of mine from high school that bro was trying to get with. So he already knew we dated because we went to the same high school. And, yeah, that basically explains itself right there. A high school friend of mine asking me about a high school ex so they can talk to him. And like I said, I don't care what my high school ex does. I really don't. I don't talk to them. But as for my friends go, you know your boundaries. You know your limits. Like, that's just weird. It's a weird nigga activity. Oh, but again, back to my current ex, my last ex. That's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? In the in the aviation world. You know, I just really don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it, bruh. Like, I haven't met someone that's lied to me so much unconsciously. And I say unconsciously because whenever I bring up the cap, it's like it never happened or they don't understand at all. And, you know, I need some people in here to tell me if I'm repeating myself, but I'm just trying to make sure I'm as clear as I can be. Like, y'all understand me 100%. Like, y'all know what's going on. Because I'm going to need y'all to know what's going on. I don't be having nobody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm talking to y'all right now. I'm putting this out there. And, yeah. But. I want to say for sure for everybody watch out who you who you call your friends or who you just close with man nobody I, I can't really say I've like in the past three years I don't think I've met anybody that I can really fully trust and like I said past three years so if I met you in 2017 you cool you more than likely cool but 2018 and after that, I don't think I can trust none of y'all. And that don't mean I don't fuck with none of y'all because y'all cool as hell. There's a lot of people out there that I met in 2018 and beyond that is real cool. That I talk to every day. But it's like, can I trust y'all more than I trust the people I met in 2017 before? Probably not, you know what I'm saying? And that's none of y'all faults, honestly. That's just, I mean, it is, but it's not at the same time. I don't blame y'all, my people, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just a personal thing. It's just some people, some of y'all that I can trust more than others. And it's taken me a long time to realize that because I've been going through it with, you know, specific people for so long, trying to be nice and work with them. But they aren't, you know, working with me. 
know what I'm saying, to make things good, because I give everybody a warning, like, you can either be cool with me, or I can throw your name through the dirt, you know, I can hate you if I wanted to, I can have no respect for you, and it'd be really blowing me that that's the option that people choose, they'd rather be on the side of me having no respect for them, like at all zero a hundred like i go flame them right now if i see them in walmart i'll be oh look at that dirty bitch over there you know that type of thing they'd rather take that versus us being cool and i mean i just goes to show like this is an evil world we live in and if you don't think it's an evil world then i don't know what to tell you y'all probably like damn nigga you late as hell we been knew it's an evil world but hey Maybe that's just me being used to always being nice to everybody. But, you know, like I said, I just can't be nice anymore. And I know a lot of people are not going to like me for what I got to say from now on because it's going to come straight from the chest. Like, if I got to use a name, I'm going to use a name. But to anybody, like, really disrespect me on social media and use my name then I ain't finna use nobody name I don't see the point but like I said earlier y'all gonna know what I'm talking about and if you already know who I'm talking about then good for you you know what I'm saying you know, I ain't finna you know that's all you you know who I'm talking about I'm not even trying to be subliminal I'm just low-key trying to be respectful and not throw names through the dirt but anyway when you get to the bank, head right to the Probably gonna have some more for y'all later. In the back, and that's where all the racks is at. Cause look Stay at this. We wanna sit I'm finna do this baby. mission. Uh, what the what the fuck? Go in hot on? like a motherfucker. What? Roast them bitches if you want to. I don't give a fuck. You already got the jam oh, turned off. Apparently, I'm yeah, robbing this the bank. Line, the cops on um, oh, all right. Um, well, um, okay. But yeah, anyway, like I said, Remember you got them just gonna beat myself lastly for niggas, niggas. Don't ask other stuff. niggas about Bust. other bitches. Don't ask other bitches about niggas. Just don't do it. That's just not your bitch. Lastly, bitches, niggas are tired of y'all little petty games and bullshit. They're gonna start throwing y'all names through the dirt. Doing y'all dirty. Extremely dirty. So. So always remember that because it really is sad when I hear about some shorty getting done dirty but it was because the other nigga already experienced some bullshit from her like bruh I'm like alright like, it's never wrong to try to get back anybody cause I'm not even trying to do that I don't got time for that I just know when I'm in the right and when I'm in the wrong, so me talking to y'all today, I just wanted to express how right I was, I guess, and how wrong these people are around me. But hey, it's gonna get better. I'm already knowing not everybody is like this. I'm not gonna just run into all bad people in my future because if you really know me, it's one thing that I want in my life. I want everybody, all of my people to eat. And no, I ain't talking about no damn food. I'm talking about right, everything. Wait, you better start hauling some we eating up everything. We taking over. Because that's what I want. That's the lifestyle I need to live. You at the next one? Need. Back of the building is where it's always and if you don't at. understand that, then we gonna leave you. We gonna leave you there starving. But yeah, that's all I got for now. I'm probably going to talk to y'all again in about a half hour or so. A cap, not a half hour, but I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm going to have some more for y'all when the time come. But in the meantime, y'all just need to stay great out here. Worry about yourselves, but do it with respect. Please. If you don't do it with respect, and you just ain't shit. You just selfish at that point. You know what I'm saying?
So hey, it's your boy. CC splashy, King splashy, C dog splashy. Gone.